Welcome back to afternoon break. Well, school is officially back in session, which means more time carrying backpacks, sitting at desks on devices and rushed schedules. Here to provide some insight on these topics as we settle into the new school year is Dr. Ben Stabby from Bright Life Chiropractic. Welcome, it's always good to have you back. Always, I appreciate you having me back on again. Yeah, so <laughs> we are starting with backpacks, the yes. ever important backpacks. Walk us through kind of the do's and don'ts. You know, kids are carrying a lot of load yes. this year. Uh, walk us through the best way to pack it, proper technique. Of course. So obviously, you know, kids are in school now, they get the heavy textbooks. I know, you know, they use the, the Chromebooks and the tablets as well too, but we're still oftentimes carrying on these heavy books and we see a lot of kids in our office. Mm -hmm. And one thing that surprises me is that oftentimes these kids don't have opportunities to have lockers. So they're carrying these books all the way throughout the day. Yeah. So one thing that is very crucial when it comes to packing your backpack is always making sure that the heavier load is closest to your back okay. and then the lighter further away. So yeah, like uh, this book, I mean, you guys, this thick. is, <laughs> this is like, what would you say, 15 pound book maybe? Maybe, yeah, at so, least. So would you pack that first? Do you want to give us a little? Yes, so, yes, so we would want to put this as close as possible. Yeah. Because last thing you want to do is carry something heavier further away from you because mm -hmm. that's just going to cause more compensation sure. within your spine as well too. So we want to make sure that the heavy book is nice and close to where my back's going to be. Right. And then the lighter the books are, you know, things like pencil cases, we want to pack those a little bit further away. Really so we get great. our back ready to go. That way the heavier book is closest to me. Ah. And even though you're carrying a heavy book bag, it's nice and close to you as well too. Now in terms of the straps, yes. some people have it kind of, you know, a little bit lower. Correct. Have it yeah. Talk about that. Yes. Yeah, so you want a backpack that is about right above your hips there. You don't want it sagging too low Terrific. because that's going to cause you to stretch back there and that's going to cause more pressure on your spine and on your upper back as well too. Yeah, you know, and it's so difficult to carry that posture when you're carrying a backpack. What yes. are kind of some tips for that? So if you have them, mm -hmm. these little straps are great. They serve a great purpose. They actually help carry the load a little bit as well too. So if you can use that front strap, that actually helps create a little bit more of an equal balance between the front and the back. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll see this a lot where the kids, they may want to carry the backpack on, on one, one shoulder, yes. right? Because you want to look cool or That's whatever right. the case may be, but they can actually cause you to compensate by pulling to one more side as well. Kind of like if you're carrying a heavy purse, you know, it's something that we don't necessarily think about on a day to day, but if we're doing right. this all the time, it's going to cause more of that compensation and yeah. this can lead to issues such as scoliosis or even more further back problems for yeah, kids. Yeah, let's, let's kind of get into that. So as sure. we get into the school year, there's more time spent sitting at desks, yes. obviously looking down at devices. Of course. Walk us through how to avoid those types of misalignment that can happen from that. Sure. So whether at school or at home doing homework, mm -hmm. we want to use our um, devices as eye level as possible. So okay. if we're looking at a phone or a tablet, we want it nice up and close to our eyes. We don't want to be looking down like this all the time. Mm -hmm. um, if you have one of those tables that arches up a little bit too to do some of your homework, whatever we can keep our eyes level with as best as possible because that's going to keep our posture at a healthier form as well too. Yeah. When we're sitting in our desk, we want to make sure that we're sitting up nice and tall. Mm -hmm. We call it the 90-90 rule where the knees are bent, the hips are level. We're not leaning one side or the other. Crossing legs. Right, yeah. yeah. And it's things in that nature where we don't necessarily think about on a day to day, but if we're consistently doing that, that's where we see a lot of hip problems, lower back problems, mm -hmm. not only just for adults, but for kids as well too. Well, like, I'd be remiss to not bring up nutrition. Obviously with this new year, yeah. we are all rushing around specifically in the mornings. Sure. Talk about how important, uh, you know, in terms of productivity, nutrition plays that role with it children. It has a huge role. Um, you know, we could go on and on about mm -hmm. this, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of chemicals and hormones in the body and yeah. especially as a kid, there's a lot of things changing throughout those That's adolescents, right. throughout those teenage years and nutrition plays a huge part in that yeah. because if our nutrition is poor, it can have an internal negative effect mm -hmm. and that can create a negative external factor as well yeah. too. So eating healthy meals, um, eating greens, eating a good amount of protein, fats, carbs, you need to have that yeah. appropriate combination checking ingredients when you're getting food. I know we do that for our daughter. She's a toddler. She's about 16 months. But doing it early. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're very particular about what she eats. You know, we're not perfect, right? No yeah. parent is. But at the same time, you want to do what's best for them yeah. as well, too, because what we're putting into our body has a great amount of output. So doing things like meal prep, you know, we'll, we'll make our meals Sunday ahead of time for the week. Mm -hmm. So that way,
way we're more likely to yeah. eat healthy foods and not have to worry about making something last minute or having to eat out something like fast food or anything like that. We can right. be more proactive about that and make sure that we're getting the appropriate nutrition and not only for ourselves, mm -hmm. but for our kids as well too. Yeah, starting those incredible habits because mm -hmm. it all comes down to productivity for any age. Absolutely. Dr. Ben, thank you so much yes. for taking some time to come hang out with us and thank chat about you. this. Guys, we have so much more afternoon break up right after the break.